Hi besties, it's your girl Catherine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a weekend vlog and it's currently 6.37 March 24th Thursday and I right now am feeling really overwhelmed so I thought it'd be nice to like go on camera and show you guys what's going on with my life currently. I haven't done a vlog in a while. I was in the middle of editing a clean with me video and let me tell you guys, the footage I had was two hours long and I'm on a time crunch right now because I'm gonna be taking you guys with me to a girls trip and we are going to the beach. We are this weekend, it's gonna be really fun. So I wanna show you guys like the process of how I pack, what I do before I leave. I wanted to also do a vlog style where if you guys were to look away, if you're doing like dishes or watching as like a podcast style, you can know what I'm doing at the current moment. I do like the aesthetically pleasing music vlogs as well with like the music in the background, but with what I've been enjoying, I want to like make sure that even if you guys look away for like a minute, if you're like taking care of your kid or something like that, you can still know what's going on within my vlog, even if you aren't looking at it. So I did recently washed my sheets and that's one of the things I like to do because when I get home from vacation I like having nice fresh and clean sheets so I, of course I will sleep in these tonight but oh my goodness they smell so good anyways I also have a ton of laundry to do I have some whites over here that I just washed in like hot water so they can stay super white and I have a pile right over here as well. I have two huge hampers and then my closet's really messy. Even though I was in the middle of editing a clean with me video where I had everything all cleaned up, my room got messy again of course but that's how it is. Here is my to-do list for everything that I need to bring. It's still a work in progress. I made it today. Since we are going to be gone Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I like wrote down like I need this many clothes this many clothes I need to bring this type of food because I think we're gonna eat breakfast at the place we're staying which is my friend's boyfriend's place I don't know if you guys are like the same as me but I have to have drafts of my list it doesn't make sense but that's how my mind works and then I also have like so many different type of journals I love journals they're like my favorite thing ever this is like my video prep journal it's super random if i am doing like a specific video it's for my vanilla video i think i'm gonna make tuna rice balls tonight and it's rice with canned tuna and you just put a whole bunch of stuff on and, and it makes it really good i'm super hungry right now okay so what i do to make these tuna rice balls it's super easy this is two five ounce cans of tuna i got this at aldi it's really cheap tuna canned tuna is really really cheap and it's the water kind so i did drain it to the best of my ability but it's okay if you still have some water you don't want it super dry and then i like to use some mayonnaise this one's from trader joe's my boyfriend really enjoys this mayonnaise the best you can also use QP mayo as well and i think i have some in the fridge i might use like a mixture of both you need some soy sauce this is the brand that we have and some garlic powder for a little fancy now this meal can be a little salty give or take because the main salt content is from the soy sauce so it's really simple you don't really need salt and pepper if you want to do it you can so that's probably like two tablespoons and then i'm just gonna go ahead and put in the soy sauce this is about probably a teaspoon or two so just one of those this is the size of my spoon i do like to eyeball my ingredients so maybe like two teaspoons of soy sauce and then i'm gonna add a tiny bit of garlic powder so just like a little one two there a little shake and you just go ahead and you mix it up it looks really unappetizing right now but trust the process you can also add sriracha as well or like your favorite hot sauce if you like it spicy i like to put mine on top before i eat it and then you do a little bit of a taste test <laughs> Oh, that's really good. I like that a lot. After that, it's kind of like the base. So if you want to, you can scoop some rice and put it on a plate and then put this on top. Or you can make it kind of like a mixed rice. So then you put that in there and then you just mix it all up. I think that's what I'm going to do just because it's going to be a little bit easier and faster <laughs> for my dinner tonight. And so this is going to be like two servings. Like, guess like a can per person. So for rice, this is what I'm just doing, you guys. So... 
one scoop. I like to say two scoops of like this much rice is like perfect for like a person, but sometimes you want extra, right? So I'll do five scoops. You can use your hands too if you want, or like use like a glove or a spoon, anything works. You just wanna combine that together. This is our favorite seaweed. I can never find this brand. It's really hard to find it whenever we go to our, the Asian markets, but this is the best one if you can ever, if you have like an Asian market near you, look for this one. It's like the perfect amount of saltiness, but it's like flavored in a way that it's like enriches the seaweed. Anyways, I was gonna make tuna rice balls, but I decided why not let's just do it this way because I don't want to spend the extra time to like wrap, roll them up into little balls and make them look really cute. So I cut up the seaweed and it's so good. And this is our dinner. It looks really basic, but it's really good. And I've been really craving this meal, honestly. A little bit of sriracha on mine as well because I really like it spicy. Look at this. I'm going to have a bite. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> just wrap it up like that. It's super easy. You can also do it with like lettuce wraps as well. But cheers, everyone. So simple, but so good. Oh, I love it. Also, if you want more umami flavor, uh, this is for the kake. And it's like seaweed seasoning. There's a whole bunch of like sesame seeds and things like that. It gives a flavor. There's a whole bunch of other brands you can get at your Asian market, but it's so good and it gives you like a little toasty taste. Try it out, my guy. I put some on his. How are you feeling? Hmm. Put one in. Also, I'm gonna watch some TV now. Leisure. It's 10:50 now, and to be honest with you guys. My boyfriend and I just binge watched like five episodes of Netflix's Is It Cake? And to be honest with you guys, I thought it was not gonna be a good show, but it's actually kind of good, not gonna lie. It's really interactive with like the people watching. I am going to fold some laundry and watch some YouTube as well. Let me show you guys what I have been watching. I've been trying to catch up to Hyatt's Vicky, AKA Victoria on YouTube. I love her vlogs, I love her videos. I'm still in fall mode though right here from September and I'm trying to catch up to all of her videos. So the goal is to do this for the next 30 minutes. And ah, this looks still unorganized, but they're clean and a little bit folded. There are some things I do need to hang up and now before I hang them up, I am going to sort through like what things I want to bring for the trip. Let me show you guys what I'm going to pack for clothing wise. Oh right guys. I never really talk about clothes on my channel as much as I want to, but it, this took a long time by the way. 1.32 in the morning. I know it's insane. And the reason why it took so long was because I took out most of my fall and winter clothes out of my closet so I can like switch it around and that's like a work in progress but these are like all my like springish clothes I do have more spring clothes but a lot more space now and I can finally see the ground I cleaned up some of this stuff and there's some towels my boyfriend uh, showers in a different bathroom so he likes to have towels right there if I need to get something done I have to do something else in order to get that initial goal down <laughs> It's ridiculous, it's so ridiculous. Good morning, guys. I have finished packing my hygiene, makeup, skincare. This is all in one section, but I think I might put it into this canvas bag right here, because I don't want to haul this entire thing, but it's pretty easy though. Here is OOTD. I have been wanting to wear this white oversized collar shirt for a while, but it's never happened. So I thought it'd be really fun to wear this to the beach. I'm wearing shorts as well, but like underneath, it's like a like silk cami. And for today's scent of the day, I am wearing Midnight Swim. I thought it'd be like a nice, clean, fresh fragrance, but not too laundry-like. It does have a little bit of musk and floral. It has blue waters, beach flower, and fresh coastal air. I'm actually gonna put this in my project, use it up. This is what I'm wearing during the daytime. I'm not gonna bring it with me though, cause I packed a little bit too much. I already sprayed everywhere, but I'm just gonna go one more time. 
and a lot of you guys have actually asked me if I ever get concerned about other people and they think if I would wear too much fragrance. Never really thought about it like that before until I tried to spray like at least like 10 or 15 minutes before I get into a car or like at least 30 minutes if like my friends are like super sensitive to fragrance, which they never really say anything. So that's a good thing, I guess, but maybe they didn't ever say anything because they're used to my strong fragrance but this is a pretty light fragrance i'm also going to pair it with this elizabeth arden green tea scent spray i actually wear this fragrance so much at the gym though i like to wear this in the morning time it's really nice and refreshing i think this is gonna like amp up midnight swim a little bit it has more of like a peppery note alongside like the green tea fragrance that is the fragrance combo of the day and i want to show you guys everything that i packed this is all the stuff that's from up here i need to grab my shoes there's some socks in there um i'm planning to edit in the car as well so there's that and i do need a hair tie as well just in case you know you never know just in case let me show you guys what else i packed for the trip so three bags four bags technically and then this is the food bag i got this bag from aldi for seven bucks they sold it during the summer last year it's pretty cool i just boiled eggs and i put them back in here because i didn't want them to crack during the trip and then there's some chicken flatbread that i have to eat i did put some sour seltzers these are really good i think they're like limited edition though they don't taste like alc they're really good do you have to pack cheese and deli meat right here my sister got a whole bunch during costco so this would be good for the trip i try to cut this in half but then i broke the scissors so there's that okay we're currently well macy is putting is tetrising everything right now she brought two carry-ons this is mine this is tina's oh <laughs> when I was in fourth grade. See, look at this. Yep, you can go on the bridge, you can walk it, exercise. Oh, it's so fun. But let me show you guys really quickly of the place. Ooh, okay, we also took the food out and then put it in here. Hydrate, adult beverages, more adult beverages, ham sandwiches, boiled eggs. I did that. And there's some more snacks. Tour and then there's like a patio sunroom out here and the living room this is the laundry room and this is the bed and then also air mattress closet shower sorry guys this is awkward <laughs> mirror full-length mirror. Full mirror what brand is it can you tell us victoria's secret <gasps> it's the tease one i hear a lot about this one it's been years actually. It smells like baby powder. I know, it's just really right? lip powder. <laughs> I like it though, it's like, oh, it's a little floral. No, no, it's like a little floral. Floral, blah, blah, blah. blah. Wow. We are getting to go at this restaurant. It's like we're hiking. We're going to the beach right now, guys. Love the sand. Everyone open their foods. Ooh. Ah. In Vietnamese, this is called junk. Aftermath. Oh, look at the sun. The sun is starting to set. I see the sand traveling. I know. You guys probably haven't been able to hear me because the freaking winds are so blah, 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 blah. So I'm hoping you guys have heard me the past couple of minutes. Here is my outfit for the night. I switched from this top for the nighttime and then I'm wearing jeans and this leather jacket. Anyways, I'm wearing Bodycology Sweet Love as my fragrance mist as the night. And it's actually the only fragrance mist I brought alongside the only perfume I brought, which was Pure Wonder. I would say Sweet Love is definitely a daytime fragrance, but I didn't really think that through. 
but it still smells really good. It's sweet florals and whipped cream. This is the fragrance combo that I'm gonna wear throughout the entire trip. I didn't wanna pack too much and these are pretty full size products. So I thought I could get some use with those two products. It's 9 16, we're actually late for our dinner reservation, but I'm gonna take you guys right now and show you guys what we're gonna eat, what we're gonna do for the rest of the night. So come on, let's keep going. Let's keep going guys. I got the veal with white wine sauce and pasta. My sister got shrimps. Alfredo? Yeah. And there's some some other dishes. Ooh. Good morning. It is 8.50 right now. I've been up for a little bit. I put on some brows, but my skin is like breaking out like for no reason. But my cheeks get very sensitive. Anyways, I showered and washed my body this morning. The shower was amazing because it has really strong water pressure. And I used this Nivea Breathable Nourishing Body Lotion and Fresh Fusion. I wanted to get some use out of it because I never really use my drugstore body lotions as much as I want to. It's really good. It's perfect for like hot climates, like anything that's like 70 above. It's very thin, but that's like the purpose of the lotion is so it can like breathe into your skin. This is the look for today. White pants and then this top right here. I kind of like it, but these pants are really big. I've tried to shrink them like 20 times already. And so I have like this little hair tie right here. It's time to spray my fragrance mist and I'll show you guys how I do it. Here are the progress lines too from yesterday and today. I'm using it twice. We're at the farmer's market guys. Ooh. Love a good veggie. Ooh, look at those green beans. Nope. Fresh, whole, organic besties. Palm trees. I thought the palm trees go higher. This is not California though. I'm really liking the architecture here in Charleston. It's so pretty. They don't have peaches, but they do have strawberries. Yeah. These desserts look so good. Look at that. I think I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna taste it now. It's like a lemony cake. Strawberry. I ended up getting a coffee. Need a midday pickup. It's 1.30. My sister got a blueberry mimosa. I'm gonna try it. Oh, that's good. I got lemon, blueberry, French toast. It's like Mardi Gras theme. Wow. Macy got bayou shrimp and uh, hot salmon. What are these called? Eggs Benedict. Uh, Eggs Benedict. Tina got biscuit and gravy. Oh my gosh. Hanny also got Eggs Benedict too, but this is a bacon kind. No, they're yeah. shows in the air. It was expensive. So good. This is the pier. Wow. Love to sightsee. Oysters, guys, these were a dollar piece. What a good deal. I got barbecue tuna. It has fried oysters on top. And here's some other dishes. It is 12.35 right now, midnight. So technically Sunday morning. I stayed at home. The girls are currently out exploring the nightlife again, but I decided to have a little self-care night and wash my hair and fix whatever is going on because my cheeks right now are 
starting to act up again. They're super red right now. They're super irritated. And this is what happened. And it might be the sunscreen that I'm using too. It might be whew, super inflamed, but I'm feeling really inflamed right now. And my lips are also breaking out and I forgot to bring my cream for it. So you can see the red outlining. But I wanted to show you guys what products I use in the shower. And also, I don't know if I showed you guys the shower, but whew, the water pressure immaculate. You guys already know what water looks like, but it's like the, the best pressure ever. It's amazing. I use the Sweet Buddy Berry again. I also let my friends use it too, because why not? I gotta use up my products because I'm moving out soon. And then for hair, I wanted to try out the at the beach shampoo it smells so good i love the at the beach fragrance i used to not but i love it now it's really nice and my hair feels clean <laughs> i also use cerave cleanser as my second take off the residue i also use the clean at zero hair i did use the nivea breathable fresh fusion lotion again and you guys it smells like baby powder the longer i wear it because i'm re-wearing the clothes i wore this morning because i was out all day and so i just changed and took clothes that are like super fresh and it smells just like baby powder. My clothes literally smell like baby powder. It's really nice, especially if you love clean fragrances. And I'm really excited for our last day tomorrow because of we're leaving. So I will see you guys in the morning. We're at a bakery, dessert bar. Look at these cakes. Oh, they're so pretty. There's a cannoli cake right there. The pistachio and the mascarpone and tiramisu. We got hot pot and cream barbecue for dinner tonight. It looks so good. Hi everyone, it's the next day and it's crazy rainy right now. It's like a tornado watch. It is pouring outside. So I'm in this nice cozy, sweaty move i just got home from the gym and the weekend girls trip was so fun i really had an amazing time it took me a while to settle down for a little bit and get everything packed and tidy in my room sort of but i want to show you guys some pr products that i got when i came back my boyfriend was shocked to see like so many packages for me even though i wasn't at home it was really funny but these are not sponsored and they wanted to see if I would like them or not, but I'm gonna give you guys like an overview of everything that I got. So this Love Hair brand sent me their nourishing treatment mask and some hair oil. It's supposed to be really good for flyaways. It has lavender and also a couple of other oils. It's really nice, wow. And I've been meaning to try hair oil, so thank you to Love Hair for sending me these products. I've been meaning to like give my hair some more TLC. I feel like sometimes I'll put a couple of leave-in conditioner drops in there and then call it a day, but I know for sure that I do need to take care of my hair more as I take care of my body. I also got sent some body care products from Atobic, and this is a Korean brand. This is their body cream, and I put it on my skin, and it's like a nice, soft, fresh floral fragrance. It smells really good. And then this is also their foam body cleanser. And let me tell you guys, it looks very foamy. It says it's supposed to be really good for the skin, but we shall see about that. I, I'm looking forward to trying this out. I think I might do like a vlog next time for like hygiene of the week and emphasis more on like hygiene products that I use throughout the week. And I might start filming that right after this video. But thank you to Tobik. I also got sent the, you guys know that 5 Minute Journal brand, the brand Intelligent Change sent me the 5 Minute Journal. They really liked my content and was like, oh my gosh, let me send these to you. And they also sent me their productivity planners. I've been hearing so much hype about this viral journal. It apparently takes 5 minutes to write down like this like daily thing, it's like a prompt. And I'm really excited to try it out, you guys. It's very thick, too. It looks really nice. Lastly, I'm really excited for these products right here. I got sent perfumes from the Korean brand Addict. And look at these. They sent me four of their perfumes. And I haven't even opened them yet. Let me open them on screen for you guys. This is Blanc de Bloom. And it's a reminiscent of a bathtub full of pure white bubbles. Slowly flowing down from the shoulder to the arm, so specific. Wrapping your body warmth with the scent of white white rose and musk. Ooh, 
Oh, wow. Is this supposed to look like that? It kind of looks like this. It's so pretty. Ooh. Ooh, it's like a, it has like oil too, you guys. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's so intriguing. It has white pepper, rose, and oil. So, oh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. Okay, and then they also sent me a couple of their solid perfumes. I've never tried a solid perfume before, but let me open the Naked Musk 103. Okay, it comes with like a little stopper to open the product, so I'm going to open that really quickly. It's like It looks like it's like a petroleum-based product. Ooh, that's so fun. Okay and it comes off clear it feels like a primer it feels like a skin primer oh wow that's more rosy it has more of like a rose fragrance that's gonna be fun yeah this is gonna be amazing to use whenever i want to add perfumes and layer my products <gasps> this is gonna be so good you guys oh yeah that's gonna be fun there's a whole bunch of other ones too but yeah thank you to addict for sending me their products i'm looking forward to use it let me just put it on top of it too because it has like a little bit of oil oh wow oh that's not so good i'm digging that it's like a bubbly bath rose fragrance real I, I i really couldn't have done it without you guys honestly so i will let you guys know about my true thoughts and opinions in the future with these products because they are so intriguing, like all this stuff. It's so fun. And this one's like a fragrance oil of some sort. Thank you all so much for watching this vlog and hanging out with me in the past weekend. I had an amazing time. Please let me know what kind of content you guys want to see in my vlogs. I know with my vlogs, I want to talk more about myself. Sometimes I show you guys things that are going on, but sometimes I kind of forget to like talk about me because that's kind of like what vlogs are. You kind of show what goes on in your life so yeah that's basically it thank you all so much for watching and i hope you guys have a great one take care of yourself do some self-care i painted my nails when i got back and i will see you guys soon bye